Hello there everybody and welcome to one of these videos where I sort of sit here and talk at you for five minutes But don't worry, I'm gonna edit this one so, you know, it's not gonna be as bit weird as last time So it's been a pretty big week, a pretty long week I mean, what, two brand new LPs, a brand new series, a brand new schedule And I guess the sort of finalisation of transitioning into my new format so one week in, and I'm already having technical difficulties. Not in Ratchet and Clank, that's gone just about as well as starting a new LP can go, but actually in Pokemon Sapphire. It's been an absolute train wreck, and while I've managed to hide it using clever editing, smoke mirrors, and fairy dust, the two videos so far have probably been the hardest videos I've ever had to make. Basically, I've done it completely wrong. How, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you, dear viewers, by using a f***ing emulator. The problem is, is that the emulator's video recorder is so uniquely retarded is that its produced video is catastrophically out of sync. I mean, technically, it's not even out of sync. The audio is actually slower than the video, so it constantly has to be resynced. And what would normally take me about half an hour to edit, it takes me f***ing four. Let me put it this way, doing an LP with an emulator is like trying to eat spaghetti hoops with a kebab skewer. Sure, you ultimately still get to eat the tasty spaghetti, but you can only pick up so much at a time, it takes 50 times longer, it's 100 times fiddlier, and more often than not, you get completely covered in tomato sauce. I may have gotten lost in my analogy. Moving on. So what other methods are there? Well, there's what I call the chugger method, which involves attaching to a GameCube a Game Boy Player, the only peripheral I can think of, which lets you play a game from one console on another, making the first console completely redundant. Owning Nintendo, eh? And then recording the GameCube conventionally. While yes, this is a flawless setup, uh, at least over here, the elusive Game Boy Player is rarer than chicken's teeth and monkey beaks combined. And as for buying online, they're either extortionally expensive, broken, or there's just something fishy about the price, description, or delivery options that warrant not risking your credit card, and by extension, life. So what else is there? Well, one last option, Pokemon Box. Shipped as an own just extension to Pokemon Colosseum in its GameCube bundle, Pokemon Box is a sort of half-title centered around extending one of the stupidest aspects of the main series, the Pokemon storage system, which is only possibly outmatched in boringness by the goddamn bag menu. However, seeing as to use the extended storage, you have to hook up a DBA game. Nintendo thought they'd throw in a curveball and let you play one of two whole games, and only the games Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire on your telly, like some sort of agoraphobic GBP. To be honest, yes, this is even rarer than the Game Boy Player, unless you are, at the time, stupid enough, or retrospectively, ingenious enough, to buy the Colossium bundle, like me. I'm not quite sure which one I am yet, though. Probably the former, as the only reason I hadn't done this from the start is that I completely forgot I had it. The good thing about either of the last two methods is that you still use the Game Boy cartridge. You see, one of the main plot points is raising your team, and that involves running around in a circle on the same square foot of land for absolute years, with the only interruption being attacked by bats who seem to have had their eyes and legs stolen, and rocks who've managed to acquire a set of limbs and a pair of eyes. Have you ever made that connection? More than likely, for the sake of your LP, you'll be doing this grinding off camera. But with a ROM, you're forced to sit at your computer for hours on end like any WoW player turned agoraphobe. Why is it with me and agoraphobia today? Anyway, the beauty of the chugger or box method is that you can take the cartridge with you and, provided you still have a Game Boy Advance onwards or a compatible DS, do this grinding wherever you like, like on a train or a bus or a plane or your mum. Essentially what I'm saying is expect a change in the look of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire within the next few weeks. And after that, I'll be tons more enthusiastic about playing it. Right, what's next? Um... Ah yes, you probably noticed that earlier in the week I crossed 2,000 subscribers. This is a bit of a big deal for me because when I started this channel five years ago, I never thought I'd be uploading every day. I mean, I initially used this channel to complain about technology. I mean, seriously, go look. The first three videos on this channel was me complaining about my Xbox breaking. But now there are potentially 2,000 of you it's made me notice a few changes. I guess I've grown quite fond of you, I mean, I keep on finding myself compelled to give you a collective pet name, like some sort of giant schizophrenic gerbil. And I'm constantly finding myself trying out a new intro with a new pet name for a run of a few videos, like a new pair of shoes, before quickly returning to the comfort zone of my converse. And I always feel like I'm letting you down a bit. And nothing quite reminds me of how awesome you are when some troll face trolley troll waddles onto one of my videos and promptly vomits putrid lunacy into the comments section, only to be met by one of you gallant subscribers who defend my honour and quickly send it back to the retard hole it came from. So essentially I'm saying thanks to all of you, and that this year I'm going to endeavour to prove to you that clicking that subscribe button, whenever you did it, was a good idea. Just a couple of bits of news now. I did some co-commentary with a Mr. Austin Ethan person. Uh, is this just that they're shouting at you? They really are shouting at you because they're, they're pissed they're off that you've done it They're mocking you, that's what they're doing. 
What is Mario doing? I'm trying to get in. I'm tr I'm diving. I'm trying to like get into the platform, and I almost like make it. But then I say no. I can't do it. Give up. <laughs> He's just like derp, 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 derp. It. it even kind of sounds like Mario saying that. <laughs> really? Derp, derp, derp. <laughs> <laughs> Hover nozzle. Oh, I see what you- Ah, right, yeah, hover nozzle. Oh, do you get one? Do you get one? Oh. And all these are the Too bad! <laughs> <laughs> so go check it out. He's a laugh. And if you like the videos, you should totally subscribe. And also, I have a new Twitter. I wanted to keep my old Twitter for more personal things. So from now on, any YouTube-related tweets will be coming from at HalDiamondLPs. So Monday, more Ratchet and Clank. Tuesday, more glitchy Pokemon Sapphire. And Wednesday is going to see the return of Hal and Joe plays. Hopefully. But until then, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you soon.